Okay guys, this is a super fun video. I just finished my eyes. Hopefully you watched that eye tutorial. It was really actually fun. I tried a technique that I've never even tried before. Till today, I think it turned out good. My winged eye could use a little work, but I'm gonna keep practicing on that. Now, our mascara has two tubes, gel, fiber, gel. The gel is infused with our Uplift Eye Serum. It's amazing, it's great for your eyelashes. It's not gonna make them fall off or anything like that. It might even help them grow. I can't guarantee it that, but some people do have their eyelashes grow. Now, there is some awesome tricks that you can use when you do your mascara. Get a blow dryer, okay? And this is super important. I like seriously not enough people buy those they don't realize the importance of them or like if you get one from Walmart or something like that then get one that has metal bristles if they have them because ours has metal bristles and you can really get in between your lashes okay so let's get started so you can see my eyelashes are pretty short let's start with the gel do one eye at a time also so I'll just do my left eye for this case scrape off as much as you can when you take it off okay because you don't want all the extra gel on your eyes because that's not cool. One other trick, rose water, super amazing. It's like probably going to be in like almost all my eye videos and like all my videos because there's so many uses for it. If you are getting on the last leg of your mascara, don't tell me I told you this, but you can spritz it with your rose water, dip it back in just a little bit, swirl it around, and then it'll make your um, mascara last probably, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks. But I didn't tell you that because really you, sh you should get new mascara every um, 12 weeks because bacteria can grow on there. And there's actually a thing called eyelash mites. I ain't even joking. You can Google it when we get off of this video. Google eyelash mites. Yeah, they can grow in here. So we're going to scrape it off. Now, as far as my eyelashes go, I only apply the gel part to my bottom lashes. I think it looks more natural. That's more of the look I'm going for. It's natural, not the fake eyelash look. I had people like really think that my, my eyelashes were naturally that long. And then uh, when she found out I did unique, she's like, oh, I didn't know that was that mascara. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's Michelle. Love you, Michelle. Okay, so now, just apply the gel to your top lashes. Some people say to go like this. Some, I don't know. I usually just stroke it. Ooh, and I forgot to tell you, you need to make sure you warm up your mascara. Get in the habit of warming it up. Even if you don't use this mascara, warm up your mascara. You're gonna notice a huge difference. Okay, so. I like to let the first coat dry. That's not what the directions say, but this is what Rachel does. And then I like to, like I want my eyelashes to look like they're my real eyelashes. So I go in and I make sure that they look all purties. Okay. And then I let them dry just a little bit. So normally I would go to the side and then I come back. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second coat gel again like you can already see it building even more and this is just the gel this isn't even the fibers okay now we're gonna apply the fibers you want to immediately apply the fibers after you apply the gel because the gel will dry and you want the fibers to stick so my trick roll the fiber wand on the back of your hand so it compacts the fibers and I think you get less clumping chances this way and then brush it on the second half of your lashes. Or the end half of your lashes. All right. And then apply the gel quickly after that. Scrape it off. Apply the gel. And then, that's where I get my brush out again. And I like to take this and I just scoop out the back. So I'm just gonna scoop out any extra fibers that don't look perfect and natural. Yeah, do you see this? Yeah, I didn't mean for you to see that, but now that you did, it's it got melted. 
melted by my lamp. Okay, there you have it. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, I forgot to tell you this too. I like to blow dry my lashes and watch them. They'll even get even like longer looking because they're going to kind of curl up. And this is a really great trick to do too, even if you don't use this mascara because it's going to dry your eyelashes. So that way, like, do you ever notice like you, you leave your house and then your eyelashes don't look the same because they might stick together a little bit because they were wet. And then when you aren't looking, they kind of fuse together. So that's where it's nice to zap them with the blow dryer and then watch how they kind of curl up. Don't burn yourself though, I'm not responsible for that. Okay, isn't that crazy? I love it. Oh, I got another trick to tell you. If for some reason you get like, do you ever notice if you get like a little splat of, um, of the gel or your mascara on your face and you're like the first instinct is like oh no and you go and start rubbing it off and then it gets black all over your face don't do that just let it dry naturally and then you can take like like this or the spoolie to your um eyebrow pencil and you're just gonna like just go like this and it's just gonna kind of pop off your skin so that's another trick to not worry about when um when you get mascara that gets a little dollop on your face okay Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, it's water resistant but not waterproof. So that means it's gonna stay on all day. Like I said, in the rain and everything like that, but it's going to wash off easily with soap and water. You do not need to have eye makeup remover to remove all this. Like my face wash, um, the Illuminate is going to just take it off if I just scrub my eye gently at the end of the day But it's gonna last all day and even like okay, let's say you're gonna get married or something like that It's great for your wedding because You can like cry and it's not gonna like go down your face and I think I'm gonna do another um, Naked shower video if you guys hadn't seen that one that one was really fun You don't really see my boobies or anything like that, but you can see how the mascara doesn't run down your face. So yeah